fly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Think aloud. Five first people. I'll be looking at a monologue and talking about how to connect it to yourself, the world, and other texts. So here we go. Bernard. I never used to go out on the street. I was always afraid I'd get beat up. I knew it was a stupid fear. I knew it was unrealistic, and I looked up statistics on people who got beat up when they went out on the street. It's surprisingly small. Um, I, I'm not a very big man. I'm small and somewhat frail, although I can move a couch if someone asks me. Um, but I've been afraid. I've been in fights, scuffles, and, um, and I, I can relate to this character based on his fear. Surprisingly small. But still, I had my food delivered. I had my newspapers delivered. All my dates were at my house. As long as I didn't go out on... Uh, as long as I didn't go out on the street, I seemed to be fine. Until one day, I was sitting comfortably in my living room when it suddenly came to me that I did not dare go into the kitchen. That if I went into the kitchen, I'd get beat up. Um, obviously, this is an exaggeration that the author is using, but... I mean, there's people all in the world who are afraid to go out of their houses or are afraid to go down the street based on where they live, based on an event such as 9-11. We had all those people um, who were projecting their racism uh, onto Middle Eastern uh, citizens that had nothing to do with terrorism or the attack, but because they appeared to look a certain way, it happens. So they could relate as well, and that relates to a global experience, something in the world. Let's talk about Japanese internment camps. Yeah, we did it. We put them into camps during World War II because they looked a certain way. I imagine during them they'd be pretty, pretty afraid to go outside. You know what I mean? So I sat through all four late shows thinking my problem out. And at five in the morning, I finally concluded that it wasn't anybody on the outside I was afraid of. It was me. I was afraid of. That actually the only person who could regularly beat me up was myself. Ah! Ah! It is true. We are our own worst critics and sometimes enemies. Um, I related uh, I've related to the, the, to the world and myself and being a small man that would not... I'm not a lover. I'm not, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I don't fight. I'd get beat up. So, textually, if I compare this to other texts within our unit, we're looking at um, acting theory, acting resources, and uh, Richard Bolvlosky in the first six lessons comments on not imitating an emotion or memory, but recreating a memory. And uh, rather than get up and pretend to be afraid to leave my house or something, I'm going to try to draw from my own personal experiences and recreate that experience for an audience so that they can, you know, connect their own fears to it and sit in the audience and go like, I've been afraid too. I totally understand this guy. This character is really developed. It's very round. So there you go. So I rose without fear and went, in the, went into the kitchen, and nobody beat me up. And I put on my coat without fear and went into the street, and nobody beat me up. For the first time in years, I felt alive. I knew I would never be afraid again. I felt so good that the first couple I saw, I beat up. Um, 
funny. Pretty funny. It's talking about not wanting to be beat up. Beat someone up in the end. Nice uh, role reversal. Um, the, 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 the structure of the text gives it a nice punchline to the ending to kind of show growth and development in the character. Um, and then considering other texts as well, the classroom text we've looked at with, with what's your obstacle, what's your tactic, um, what, what, uh, what, what motivates you to do what you need to do in, in the piece. And uh, being able to answer those questions will give you a nice outline of, of the, your story arc for the, the monologue and, and whether or not this monologue is something that you can connect with and relate to and personalize um, before you complete a final performance or audition with it. So. Yeah. Should we play the song again? Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Thank you.